In this video, we'll take a look at the last three buttons on the toolbar. The Snap Set button, the Record button, and the Screencast-O-Matic button. The Snap Set button is a nice little tool. When I click on it, the Snap Set wizard will come up, and you have an option to either save something to a Snap Set file or to a Snap Set folder. By default, it will be set to Snap Set File in Manual Mode. The Snap Set file will let you take multiple image snapshots and save it to a single PDF file. I'm going to click Next so you can see what this looks like. So, I'm just going to put my hand over the camera so we can easily see image number one, image number two, image number three. When I click Create Snap Set, you'll see it says there have been three snapshots added to the set. It just generated this PDF, which if I open, size that so it fits in my recording window. There you go. Now I'll zoom this out and you can see there I've got image one on page one, image two saved to page two, and image three saved to page three. So you can see it's very easy to create a multiple page PDF that's easy to share by taking a snapshot of each screen as you go along the lesson. If I click on Snapset again, if I wanted to do time lapse, I can change it from manual mode. Instead of having the in manual mode, I've got this little option to add, cancel, create snap sets. If I go under auto time lapse mode, it's going to ask me, well, how often do you want to take a picture, how many pictures, or how much time do you want to go by? And then it will automatically take those snapshots based on the, the settings you set here. That's great for doing a time lapse photo series. The record button will record whatever is going on on the screen. So if I click record, a little flyout menu will pop up, ask me, well, where do I plan to use this? On the web, like mobile devices, normal web use, HD web, or large files that might store on my computer for playback. Typically, 480p is going to be plenty high enough resolution for you to record under, and that's the default setting. So click record. It's going to put a countdown timer on the screen. And then you can see here that this is a live image that we're recording under. And anything I do on the screen, including annotations, are going to show up in the recorded video. If I zoom in or zoom out, that also will show up. As well as if I use a pointer to point at items under the camera. If I click Done, you'll see over, he over here there is the recording timer as well, telling you how much time has elapsed. I'll click Done. And now my recording shows up over here in the sidebar. I'll double click on that and it will launch this player for me. And there's the recording that we just made. The final button is the Screencast-O-Matic button. When you click on the Screencast-O-Matic button, if you have not installed Screencast-O-Matic, it will show you where to go on the website for Screencast-O-Matic to download the software. Screencast-O-Matic is a really cool and fun and very inexpensive screencasting tool that's extremely popular in classrooms across the country. If you're doing flipped content or just need to create videos that are easy to host and share with other users, this is a great tool to use it. There'll be more information about that in a future video.